Welcome back to Julia, Among the Stars. Okay, this creature has been cleared out. Let's see what we have access to now. Commentary. The place where the life form was connected to the body is full of tiny organic parts. I will obtain a relevant sample. Let's see how Yamabushi technology performs under extreme conditions. Alright, who are you? The corpse is half-eaten by an unknown entity. The bones show an interesting absence of tricalcium phosphate, which might have been absorbed by, absorbed by the alien life form. Hmm. <laughs> Enhanced analysis. Okay, what kind of a mini game are we gonna have for this one? Hmm. Not much in here. You're probably right, Mobot. Not so fast. The patterns look like sentences. It might be something decipherable. See what looks like punctuation and apostrophe marks. I see what you mean. Time for me to do some analysis. Okay. I think that every alphabetic character is represented by a two-digit number. Let me provide you with unique numbers. Now we put the alphabet below. All right. First you select one of the unique numbers and match it to a letter. Then, everywhere that same number appears in the code, I will change it to the letter you have selected. Continue to match numbers and letters until the code has been translated. Can you also provide me with information as to which letters have already been used? Sure. I apologize for not being able to provide you with a better interface. Thank you. I think this will be fine. I think you should also apologize for the fact that you're the laziest super intelligent AI ever. You should be able to solve this in like a, a millisecond. A nanosecond. You're always making Rachel do it. Like, you realize my life is precious, right? I'm a human being, I actually die. You don't. God. Julia. Okay. Hmm. How would the sentence start? I have no idea. Oh, it doesn't even tell you if that's correct. Or does it? Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's a logical way I could solve this, or if it's just going to be pure trial and error. I'm going to think about this one and I'll be right back. Okay, it took me a while to get to this point because the hard part is just finding one kind of cornerstone. Like, I needed one thing that I was sure was correct. Because once you know something is correct, then you can kind of start to build everything else around it. And what I started with was actually it, as an IT apostrophe S. It is. I was looking for apostrophes because, you know, there's not too many things that fit into apostrophes. And once I got it in, then I started to get some other stuff, and now we are here. Almost done. So this is obviously correct or very close to correct. Leaving any evidence. Eden All right, so 92 is obviously a C. Evidence, 92 C. Okay, it's talking something about sentient beings. Um, it seems the local inhabitants are sentient beings. Okay, seems the, so 97 is H. Okay, so yeah, actually I have H on the wrong one, apparently. I guess, because this has to be the, right? The local. Well, let's try some other stuff first. Inha- Actually, no, it definitely has to be H, yeah, because the. That should be an H. Inhabitants. This should be an H. Yeah, so 97 is H, so what is H on right now? Right now it's on 36, which is incorrect. So 97 is H. There we go, yeah, that made it a hell of a lot better. Uh, we... Maybe that's a W? We? I'm not sure. 
Hmm. Yeah, there should be a W. We. Which. Yeah, so 36 is W. Which can solve all our problems. So 75 is an O. 27 is a U. 12 is P. Once we find, so 95 is F. Let's hope we can fix. So 39 is X. That's 39. Oh, 99 is J. Julia confirmed. This must be it. Wait a minute, am I reading this right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We now have a... Wait. <laughs> this is just a text version of what this already says. Huh? Okay, I guess I'll read this one. It's a little bit better formatted. We now have a high-energy weapon which can solve all our problems at the forest planet. It seems the local inhabitants are sentient beings, and were able to communicate about our activities there. We can't have that, can we? The parts are to be tested below the water level. Once we find suitable environment, we'll assemble the weapon and prepare the test launch. Let's hope we can fix this problem without leaving any evidence. Julia confirmed that all of these beings are isolated to one specific location, so we can get them all in just one shot. Oh my... The forest planet, that's obviously Ambrosia, right? So the beings on Ambrosia started talking about what they did. That would be when they basically shot at first sight of new contact. Or to be tested below the water level. The water level. So that's why they were down here. They're trying to test it. That is really fucked up. Wow. So meet a new species, meet a meet a new an entirely new race of aliens, and on first contact you freak out and shoot them. And then they start to talk, so you build a high energy weapon and you try to test it so that you can blow them all up. And just kill every single one of them. No witnesses. Like, really? Holy shit. Like fucking mobsters trying to take out a witness before they can get into witness protection or something. Like, Jesus. So those bastards were going to kill an entire population over their mistake on Ambrosia. No, this can't be true. Calm down, Rachel. They didn't succeed. Let their graves serve as a testament to justice. I still can't believe their cruelty. The Ambrosians were innocents, already tormented by their past, and we were going to wipe out their entire species just like that. You only have one option, Rachel. To show that you're better than the rest of your crew. Is there anything else stored in that datapad? Let me see. Ah, here it is. Those huge crates obviously contain the weapon parts. And I am downloading a blueprint for the weapon construction in case we ever need such a thing. I wish I could report this atrocity. Just let it go. In the end, no Ambrosian was harmed with this weapon. Well, now that we can construct it, I suppose we can fix right. that problem. According to the datapad, the weapon was never assembled. This means that we should be able to find all the parts in here. As long as they aren't in the inaccessible part of the submarine. I don't think so. I believe that we can find the parts right here. And that explains why the crates can still be examined. Look at this. I've found some of the parts. Crate hunt! More weapon parts. Didn't even bother to have a sound file for that one. Or or that one. More weapon parts. <laughs> the last crate is inside of here, so I need to open up and let the jellyfish thing out. No, I don't think there's anything else in there. 
Here, I'll take over for him. Medical supplies. More weapon parts. More weapon parts. <laughs> Couldn't have recorded a couple other versions of more weapon parts. More weapon parts. Okay, any more? Any more weapon parts? I think that's it. Oh, wait. More weapon parts. We're done. We have all the parts we need to build the weapon. Right. Now we need to find out how to assemble the weapon. Let's use the analytic station. Okay. Oh, I get to actually assemble it? Oh, this could be cool. Alright. Oh, you even get to rotate it around so it's got to go on the right way. Okay. Uh... Sure. Oh yeah, there's nothing to attach it to, is there? Well, I guess we need the base first, right? Yeah, that's the way it goes. Perfect. No? Alright, gotta start with a base. I don't even know what that is. I'm assuming we're starting left to right, right? Maybe right to left? But if it's right to left, then this would go on. What the hell am I supposed to start with? It, it seems like this should be the thing we start with. Alright, whatever, I'll just randomly attach... Okay, what? I don't understand, what did I even attach that to? Okay, this could have been cool, but now it's just kind of weird. Okay. Right. I I'm not sure how I can use logic to assemble this. It seems like I should just randomly attach everything. That's not even attached to anything. Like, what, what comes next? I don't understand. Do, do I put the base now? It seems like the base should have been the first thing, right? What? Oh, okay. Right. Now it's starting to make more sense, I guess. That background image is not very good for telling you, for like uh, getting you started on how this thing is constructed. Like, the whole back is just a big tube. Apparently the big tube is made up of a bunch of small tubes. Okay. Right, well, there's obviously some rods and then the thingy, so maybe that's a rod. It's only one, though. I don't think we need more of those, do we? Hmm. Something goes on the top and bottom. So what goes on the top and bottom is probably these. Or not. Uh, okay. Okay, this is dumb. I... Forget logic, I'm just going to randomly try to attach everything. Okay, cool. <laughs> like, I'm supposed to know that because of the background image that I can't even see because it's covered up? Like, okay. Forget logic. We're going trial and error. Cool. Okay, now can I go back to using logic? Okay, so I need something to extend out. Which would look like this, but the problem is I only have one of these, and there's a bunch of them. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. I'm still not seeing where these, these things come from. I need long sticks. 
thing looks like a like a, a space leaf blower at the moment. Or a vacuum cleaner. These are the HEPA air filters. This makes no sense. And now this goes on? I only had one of those, and yet there's fucking four of them suddenly on there? Like, what? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we've assembled the weapon. Let's review the trial of Kseer. We know that we have to hunt it at night, and the weapon is ready. You're right, Rachel. I've modified it to focus on a much smaller diameter. The only thing left to do is to find Kseer, set up the calibration marks, and destroy it. How do you want to calibrate it? Do you remember the laser beacons we found on Elpis? They should be strong enough to be seen from the orbit. If we position them in Xeer's proximity, I can eradicate him. Let's do it. Let's face the Xeer. Whoops. Okay, back to Phaedrus. Phaedrus is so calm at night. I can understand why our crew never expected any danger lurking here. We need to track it down. It must be hiding somewhere around here, so let's explore and see if we can find a trace. Let's go over our plan. We trace Xeer's hiding spot, place our laser beacons around it, and you blast it from orbit, right? If nothing goes wrong, then yes. And about that weapon, it seemed to be awfully small. Don't worry, Rachel. It was just a prototype. We are now equipped with an extended version. You just took it from prototype stage to finished? How? Doesn't that take R&D? Anyway. Okay. Place a beacon. Why not? Let's remove the beacon. Look at this. It looks like Seer went right through this place and recently. Let's follow the slime trail while it's still hot. Why are you whispering, Rachel? Seer won't hear us in the probe. Sorry, I got a little carried away. I've never been hunting before. And technically, you are not even hunting now. I'm taking all the risk. Oh, come on, Robot. <laughs> it's perfectly safe. <laughs> no, it's not. It's really not safe. Observation. The trail is vanishing. We need to follow it carefully, or we'll lose it. Wait, we... You mean we need to follow the trail to find it? What? Okay. I, I don't understand, though, because, I mean... It seems that we've lost the trail. Yes, 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 yes. Like, it's... I'm looking at the trail and it's leading forwards, obviously, right? Look, it goes there, 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 there. And then I go forwards and it's not there. Like, what? So am I going forwards or not? Okay, so to go forwards in the view, I have to go to the right? Okay. And now to go forwards in the view, I don't go right. I go... Forwards? Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Yep. Up. No. Right. No. Down. 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 No. Right. Yes. Just going in circles, am I? I feel like I've seen this place before. Haven't I seen this exact rock before? 
think we might have found something. Yes, the slime trails end in the very center of this area. If we place light beacons on squares adjacent to the center, I can get enough data for calibrating the weapon. Okay. Let's plop one down there. I think we've got all the beacons in place. Let's lock them in place and try to calibrate the position. I feel like the laser is going to be a little bit too powerful and just like blow up the entire planet. Like go all the way to the core and just explode it, like planetary annihilation style. Calibrating in three, two, one. Oh well, so much for the easy way. What happened? The power cells are well beyond their lifetime. Any ideas now? Mobot, can you try to power them with a brief power surge? I can try. I might be able to revive them for a short amount of time. Examine the beacons and search for their power cells. Okay. Oh, that's weird. It doesn't have any, uh, like, mouse over indication that I can actually interact with this. But I can. Okay, I guess I was unsuccessful. Alright, cool. Oh, is it going off? Oh, so I need to do it super fast. Gotcha. Alright. So I need to note down which one I do. So right one, right one. First one. Second one, second one, last one, last one. First one. Oh, for the love of God. Alright, start with this one. Some stay on for longer than others, don't they? I think they do. Oops, this one's the first one. That's the puzzle, isn't it? Alright, how long does this one stay on for? That was a very long time. The left and right ones seem to be very short. <laughs> this is so silly. This is so silly. I think that one's a little bit shorter than this one, so I think I should start with this one, then go straight down, and then go here and here. I should do it. Lights up. Ermagird. Or not. Quick. It's coming right after me. We need to do this one more time. I was not able to gather sufficient calibration data. You mean that I should do this again while it's hunting me? How about we switched places? <laughs> Shut up and run for it! Okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought Mobot was huge. Mobot is huge. I don't actually know which one it's at, so I'm not sure which one to press. Alright, the next one should be the third one as well, if it's if it's going in the same order that I did, which I'm pretty sure it has to.
What happened? I don't know. I've lost contact with Mobot. There's no way I can contact him. Are you telling me that you've destroyed him with the weapon? I... I am not sure. Great job. Now what am I going to do? Do we have some sort of backup plan? Not really. We are pretty much stuck without Mobot. And I suppose we don't have any spare Mobots lying around, right? How can you even say this? Don't you care about him at all? It's just a robot, Julia. If we found a blueprint, we might... Oh, shut up, Rachel. Okay. I'm stuck on the probe with an artificial intelligence who destroyed our only exploration means. And now it tells me to shut up. You know what? I'm gonna grab some sleep. Wake me up if anything happens. Any news? No, nothing at all. Hey, I've got an idea. I can descend and try to fix him somehow. You had problems with just pushing the right button at the right time, and now you want to repair something as complex as Mobot? That wasn't very nice of you, Julia. I'm just trying to help. How long has it been since we lost contact? It will be ten hours. I slept that long? I must have really been exhausted. Let's wait a little longer before we leave this place. Still no answer? No. I think we should... move on. Julia, it feels wrong that he's not here. I miss him too. Let's leave this cursed planet. Anywhere you want to go. I don't care. Some robots feed. My... Name is Mo Bot two four zero zero dot two one. Mobot, you're alive. I am Yamabushi. I'm activating his maintenance interface. We've saved him. Self checks finalized. It seems you're fully operational again. What was that? It seems that the huge blast disabled your electronics. How long have I been switched off? It doesn't matter now. Welcome back. So let's see what this Xeer is made of. It's a biomechanical machine. Affirmative. Xeer seems to be an artificial construction. It is an incredibly intricate machine. I've never encountered anything so complex. Any chance we could use it somehow? Remember what our rock told us? There is something which looks like a control unit. It would seem so. I'll extract it, and we can analyze it. I don't think we can find anything else here. Let's leave this place, and visit our favorite piece of rock. It's not my favorite piece of rock. That thing is condescending as hell to me. It's all you can't understand this. I'm basically god to you. Looking, looking down its rocky nose at me. Bastard. Alright, um, uh, how do I analyze it? Workbench? No. I'm supposed to analyze it, right? Oh, I guess we're supposed to go to the rock. Right. To the, no, no, not there. Also, I realize that I don't actually remember why we're trying to kill it. Like, why did we kill it? We weren't in danger of Zir, obviously, because we went to the planet to try to kill it. We, we weren't even on the planet. So, why did we kill it again? We weren't saving anybody. Is it just because it's big and nasty? Like, we decided to go all big game hunter on it? kill any minion that does seven damage or more. Hi, condescending rock. Because hmm, we can't analyze it in that way. 
So we killed Zir. Xir. Xir. We see you fulfilled your quest. You understand now, don't you? No. No, I don't. No, I think I understand even less. Why was Xir built? And who would build such a terrible machine? We thought it was a living being, but it was created by someone. Why do humans build weapons? It's a weapon? Indeed. A weapon so powerful that it makes the creators appear indestructible. I think I understand now. First you show its terrible power, and then by flipping a switch, show you can control it. Very clever. Clever? I call it disgusting. Nonetheless, you now understand much more about the history of this solar system. But it's not the reason why we sent you there. As we can see, you've extracted the vital part of Seer. This part belongs to the Temple of Eternal Flow. Go there and you know what to do next. Can't you tell me more? We are approaching the limits of neutrality. For that reason, this is our last conversation. You will not see us again. Soon, you will have to make an important decision, and it will be solely yours to make. Farewell. Bye, Rockman. Oh, okay. And it's gone. So many questions left to answer. Cheer up, Rachel. We should use his advice and try the Xeer part in the temple. All right, let's go then. So if I'm understanding this correctly, the rock people... built Xeer? Xeer? And used it as a way of demonstrating power and making themselves appear indestructible? As he put it? Or something? Why? Does that mean that they're responsible for the crew dying? Because... Like the crew in Phaedrus, I mean? At least one of them died to a heart attack from seeing it. <laughs> it was too damn scary. Huh. Uh... Okay. To be honest, I've kind of given up on trying to even understand the story. At the beginning, it was... Uh, no pun intended, but it was down to earth with the whole reading of the, the logs from the first crew on Xenophon. And the whole radiation sickness and all of that. And that made sense. But then when they introduced Zir and... And the animals, uh, the creatures on Ambrosia that speak in random animal noises. And the practically omniscient rock creature, uh, when they introduced that stuff, it kind of went totally off the rails, and it's like, okay, whatever, when it comes to the story. It kind of like throwing in everything and the kitchen sink into the story. So, I've stopped trying to really follow it. Let's insert the part. It fits perfectly. Observation. Something is moving. Wow. It looks like we are being directed somewhere. It looks like some kind of... Star map. Do you recognize where this is? We need to analyze it. I'll scan the data. Mobot, get me the full 3D scan. Sending now. Let's look at the map now. Warning. I am losing focus. Maybe you need some caffeine, Mobot. So it was just an illusion? I am not so sure about that, Rachel. The data flow was real. It looked more like a manipulation of reality to me. 
Whatever that was, I'm glad it's gone. Back to your safe haven where everything makes sense, right? I guess. Wait, is it a manipulation of reality? Isn't that an illusion? <laughs> Isn't that exactly what an illusion is? Enhanced analysis. According to my 3D scan from the temple, we should try to pinpoint the four displayed constellations. Easier said than done. I don't see how I can locate the correct star constellations. There are too many stars. I think I can simplify things for you. Look at this. What have you done? Oh, this does look easier. I've divided the surroundings into three layers based on distance. You can switch between the layers using the forward and backward arrows. I've included a constellation highlighter. If you click on it, it will stay lit regardless of whatever layer you are looking at. Perfect. I'm on it. Just try to locate all four constellations and I'll calculate the rest. Don't forget to consult the scanned constellations. Gotcha. Let's see. Well, this is going to be annoying. I can already tell. Uh, maybe it's not going to be too bad. Looking at the super bright ones. Two bright and then one bright. It's like a super long triangle. Hmm. You know, this episode is actually already running long, so I think I'll do that in the next one, but I'm guessing it's going to tell us somewhere to go that's super special. And we'll go there and meet, like, a, an alien race of, of gods or something, and like, oh yeah, you want to go back home? Here, I'll open a black hole for you or something. Go through it, you'll be fine. The end. Well, okay, maybe that won't happen. We'll see. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.